In my previous video, I showed you one of the downsides of uh, getting iCloud photos uh, from iCloud.com uh, back into your desktop. Uh, the first issue is that when you download your photos, sometimes they come back as this, this form of file called an HEIC file. And I showed you how to convert that back into JPEGs. Uh, the second problem with downloading photos from iCloud is that in a lot of and a lot of uh, sort of storage services that, like even Dropbox and that sort of thing is that when you upload or download, sometimes, uh, most of the time, especially when you download, it takes on a date modified date of whenever you downloaded it. And for the purposes of the Apple desktop, uh, that's really what the computer is looking at and feels as important as the date modified. So, so you're losing you lose the information of like when the photo was actually shot, which is how I base a lot of my photo storage and you know sort of like my collected memory of when these things were taken is I rely a lot on the uh, the date that the photo was shot that metadata and that now. In a lot of cases, or most cases, that metadata is still there in the file itself. It's just not visible when you open it in a, in a Mac desktop. And it's called a EXIF data. Um, so what I usually like to do is if, if for some reason I've lost some photos and I need to download them, I, I like to convert them to the date modified being the date they were shot, just so that I can sort of track it in, in my files that way. Like a decade from now, I'll be able to know when, what uh, day and time these were shot. So here's what you're gonna do. Unfortunately, not that I know of, is there's no native Apple app that's gonna be able to do it for you, so for Apple and I think for PC as well, uh, there's some programs. But what I've found is this program called Better Finder Attribute Six. Now I'm not sponsored by them or anything, but uh, I found that this one works. So for Mac anyway. So what you do is you select all your photographs and you just drag them in there. And tell you what, I'll, dr I'll drag a couple of movies in there as well. Okay, so there you have it. Now you'll notice the created date is the same as the modified date. So for the purposes of this, of this, um, it's the same, basically the same as the download date. So in here, I'm going to look at the. I want to copy the EXIF timestamp to the creation day. And there you go. So you notice that these are these are when it's originally shot. Now you notice that these two are blank. And the reason for that is that movies don't have uh, EXIF data in them and the metadata on the files. So it won't help you. But you could maybe give them uh, the date that the movies were shot at least. You won't have the exact time, but you'll have, you'll have an approximation. So, so I've got the, the shot on date and then the created date. And so what I want to do is copy, copy it, the EXIF data to the creation date. So just go ahead and click perform changes. And you'll notice that 
all the photographs anywhere are, are back to 2018 when these when these photographs were shot. Um, I don't want to update these particular movies right now, so I'll just we'll take it as it is. But so that's a creation date. But you'll notice the modified date is still still today. So we're gonna have to take one more extra step, which is to copy the creation date to the modification date. So going again from 2018 and then going overriding this download date I have here. So you just click perform changes. And then when I go back to the original file folder, it not only has the date that the, the picture was originally taken, but actually the time as well. So I'm going to clear the, close this out. I'd open that up again and try to adjust those movies if I can. So 68, 67, 68, 68. That's around 447. Between 447 and 450 p.m. So there's no there's no EXIF information, so I am going to just go ahead and adjust the creation date. Let's see. Sorry, set creation date. There you go. So, April 10, 2018. Time approximately, let's say, 448. Okay, so that's the date I want and the time. I'll go ahead and perform the changes. Great. So I've updated the creation date to approximately the time that these, these movies were taken. And then I'll just go through that same process. I'm going to uh, copy the creation date over the modified date. And then voila. So, I'll just go by the name. There you go. And now, all the movies and the photographs have the date of creation and uh, my anal attentive organizing self is, is uh, at peace. So, I hope this helps. And uh, good luck with your photo uh, organization, because um, I'm still trying to figure out a, a perfect system myself. But I think having it organized by the year and uh, by the photo, photo date um, really is helpful for me.